And I think now Maria would like to say a few words. Thank you so very much, TJ. You've done such a remarkable work today. Join me in thanking TJ, please. And everybody who spoke today was a remarkable day, I think. And I'll give the mic to you, no? <laughs> so it's, of course, uh, I, I won't try to, to sum up. I think, in a way, it was very nice to be left with not just the questions of TJ, but also the two questions of the groups. What did you hear and what is to be done? Um, because in my mind, of course, I've heard a lot, and it's been a great pleasure, of course, when you also, as an organizer, propose a topic uh, not knowing exactly what the outcome will be, and then had to have all these great responses from the speakers, but also from the audience to what would this concept mean, uh, and and how can it be employed in a, in our actuality, and <clears throat> uh, so we, we of course uh, heard many different versions of what horizon mean from the temporal to the spatial to the imaginary to the real, uh, whether it's a ground or stands in opposition to a ground and so on. So I won't reiterate all of those, but just simply point to this poster that you've all had to look at for the last three days uh, and, and, and maybe we will just go through those three uh, uh, main notions that you see here, namely former West uh, Horizons and then the subtitle of the On Horizons Congress because we deliberately called it On Horizons in the plural and not to say on the horizon as a phenomena or on a horizon, but rather to say that there must be many different notions uh, uh, and, 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 and in in the hope that by having these different um, takes on it, we would be able to move forward in creating a proposition for uh, a future thinking about exactly the subtitle, namely the relationship between art and political imagination, and not just art and politics, or something as the politics of art. Uh, because it's, 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 it's very crucial, I think, as, as Robert just mentioned in the last session, but also other people have touched upon, that nobody would disagree today with the, with the point of view that art is political. But what does that mean about the politics of a specific practice, of a specific artistic practice or a specific cultural practice? These are the questions that I think we need to discuss more and more in order for it not to become a meaningless appropriation of rang share that I think is quite widespread in, in the art world today. So. Uh, maybe also to, 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 uh, to exemplify this, what, what is the, the, the politics of, of image making there? To, to this was exactly my point by taking fairly canonical works uh, uh, as illustration or counterpoint to my own presentation, was to say that an artwork such as a doubling of the horizon by Olafur Eliasson is not a work that is uh, disconnected from politics, but it is actually uh, a, a work that you could say even celebrates or desires the idea of uh, uh, a horizonless horizon, for example. So that we, by this proposition, do not get any kind of complete understanding of all works, but a, a, a prism through which we can see works and which we can see exhibition making in a different way and maybe in a more uh, to propose that the connection between art and, art and politics is not that they represent, but rather that they do it through very specific production, image productions. So that there is in political movements always an aesthetic element in terms of image production, and that there in image, pro image production in terms of art, or in terms of exhibitions, always is a political proposition involved. Um, so, so this was the idea of saying maybe the, the notion of horizon is something uh, uh, that can be seen as one of the connections between these two uh, um, categories. As we know, there are different institutional categories. Uh, and finally, of course, the, 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 the notion of, of the horizon was also something we wanted to propose to say the former West as a speculative category, can that become our horizon? And here I will give the microphone back to Maria. Thank you. I have um, very little to add. Um, perhaps just two things, and that's the sincere invitation to join us in all activities of um, former West ahead, and specifically to the Congress that I just mentioned uh, in a year time in Vienna that will be organized um, or put together by um, the group of remarkable researchers that accompany us uh, on this journey, but specifically Marion von Osten and Tom Hollard at the Academie der Bildende Künste in uh, Vienna. 
Um, that was one thing to say. And uh, second thing, far more important, is to thank all of you here for being here um, and generously, very generously thinking with us. And uh, as uh, TJ suggested, um, it's time to begin engaging with all those questions that are lingering here in the, in the air. And I'd like to invite you to join us just outside for a drink to start doing just that. Thank you so very much. Bye.